This is from the current issue of CCD Magazine. The cover was actually from something that was in India, but it didn't say CCD on it, it said something else. I said, I'm just going to make it work because it's really cool to find stuff like that on the ground. This is uh, the first verse of a poem by Brian Looney. I know some of you know that voice. Uh, this is the instance of being. Calling for applause if you don't feel it or whatever. I've just got a bunch of stuff I'm going to read for you. This is the instance of being the first verse from Brian Looney. In an instant of being, I can only breathe. I can only slake my thirst in undisturbed reflection. Private, ineffable, unexpressed. It dies the moment it lives, but lives the present beautifully. This is a really short one, which I think a lot of us might appreciate. This is from Arnold, or, uh, Donald Geither, and it's a really short prose, uh, uh, haiku-esque piece called Arthritic. Spring rain. But I am old, everything creaks. This is a piece by Kelly Jean White, MD, called Dutiful Daughter. I drive to three stores to buy her brand of cigarettes then push a wheelchair out to the nursing home patio so she can smoke and catch myself. Can it be the first time? Swearing, saying, bitch, under my breath. This, two haikus. Philosophers ask, if all we are are chemicals, why do we cry? He thinks, after a loved one dies, and he's filled with questions and angst. I wish I had open records like Bob Lawrence here, because he might find this one kind of funny because it's sciencey. Is the universe expanding? Scientists say yes, but some scientists say that something doesn't exist until we observe it. So, with increasingly more powerful telescopes, we see farther into the edges of the universe. So, is it only expanding because we gain the technology to see farther and farther? Are objects moving farther and farther apart? Or are we just seeing and therefore creating a larger and larger universe? I have to end with one of mine here, which I think I've heard people laugh at, but I don't see why. <laughs> this one's called jammed, Jabbed into an Open Nerve. I am afraid of what I might say because it might sound like how I feel. Like someone has jabbed a metal pin against the open nerve of that exposed cavity in my rat-like teeth. What does it feel like to read a soul, a soul like mine? I don't know, but, but let me brace you, rehashing this, revealing this. It just might hurt.